Several weeks ago, I was at a very low point. Many of you know that my wife and I have experienced multiple deaths of some very close members over the past several months. It has taken a great toll on all of our family, but especially Melinda. She spent several days in the hospital, and one day in particular, she was really not doing well. And after visiting with her, I was so broken, and I was so confused, and I was so sad. So I drove up to Crane's Roost. That's one of our favorite places to go and walk. I went to a sub shop nearby first, got a half a sub, and I thought I'm just going to sit as away from anybody as I can. I'm going to eat this sub, and I'm going to cry, and I'm just going to stare at this water. I went off the walking path. You know, Crane's Roost has a walking path, and then there's a little path that goes off the normal walking path. I went to the end of the walking path. I went, I went to the last bench there, and I just sat there. And then all at once, I saw a woman that I'd not seen before, a little black woman, wearing a long blue skirt, went to her ankles. She had a white top, white turban around her head. I go to Crane's Roost a lot. I've never seen her before. I thought, I hope she doesn't come over here. But I'm telling you, she walked slowly and steadily straight at me, just like she was on a mission. And when she got to me, she handed me a track that read, Jesus is coming. Are you ready? And she said, God told me to give you this. I thanked her. I thought she'd leave. <laughs> but she wasn't done. She said, God wants you to know he loves you, and he wants you to be strong like a man. Be courageous. I started getting choked up. I nodded. Then she said, what's your name? I said, John. She said, oh, like John the Baptist. I said, some have said. She said, Jesus loves you, John. Be strong like a man. And she turned around and walked slowly and steadily away. And I sat there for a few minutes in stunned silence. And I said, Lord, what was that about? And looking back weeks later now, I can see how God was meeting me in my lowest point, reminding me there will be a higher point in the pit of my setback, God was already preparing my comeback, and God was reminding me, you've been high, right now you're low, you will be high again. Be strong and courageous, because like Joshua of old, I am with you. And maybe that's what you need to hear today. You need to hear that the God of the mountain is still God in the valley. The God of the day is still God in the night. The God of the good times is still God in the bad times. That God has a way of taking the worst defeats that we experience in this life and making it the first taste of victory that will ultimately prevail because Jesus was high, he went low, and then he went higher than ever because at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow, every tongue will confess. No creature is exempt. All the angels in heaven, all the demons, in hell and everybody in between one day will bow before Jesus. When he appears again, Jesus will be worshiped, as one scholar put it, by the whole body of created intelligent beings in all the departments of the universe. It's not a question of if we will do it. It's only a question of when we will do it, friends.